Hey guys, Mikey here. Welcome back to another short video of the data visualization basics in our video series. So today we'll be looking at how to create histograms and box plots using the qplot function in R. So as I had mentioned in my previous video, qplot belongs to the ggplot2 package and it's actually a short form for qplots. I feel it's very underrated and it has a lot of capabilities and it offers a lot of functions for doing great things. So let's dive into how we can create histograms and box plots now. So for this, we will be taking the inbuilt data set called plant growth within R. So this data set, so first anyway, let's load our packages. Yeah, so like I had mentioned, uh, we can get the inbuilt data set within R using the data function. So once you use this data function, uh, all the data available within this data set is usable. So if you just explore what we have in this data set, we can see that there is weight and group. So what this data set is actually containing is the results from an experiment so they are actually comparing results of different kinds of plants that had undergone different kind of treatments and for plotting the histograms it's pretty simple so here we have just weight right so that's what we'll be plotting so we can use a qplot function and mention what's the variable and yeah just input what's the data set name and if you run this you can actually get the histogram but let's make it a bit more understandable so for that we can add what the x-axis represents so x-axis is the it's the weight here and y-axis we have the frequency more understandable and also you see that they are giving you some comments on the bins so we can also decide on how many bins we need. So bins are like the separate sections. It helps you like better visualization. So yeah, 10 is not that great. Let's try 100, maybe 50 might be better. Yeah, it's a bit better. Still not that great. So yeah, it depends on your data how many bins you want. You can also add maybe like a border so that it's way more easily separatable. Yeah, so with borders, it looks actually better. You can, you can play around with it and see, like change the colors or add like a statistical density and all those kind of things you can do it we will explore those in upcoming videos if you guys are interested so now let's move to the what's the next one yeah let's move to the box plot so it's very similar to what we did in previous video so in the previous video also we used the geom function but instead of box plot here we actually used lines and points so for creating the box plot what we need is that we need like something that is like a categorical variable so in our case we are using the group so the group has like control and also it has treatment one and two so this factor function what it does is that it just convert like vector into categorical variable so that we can use them uh, like levels so that's what I did here and we mentioned what's the other data like other variable which we need which is the weight. So we are like classifying like weights into multiple groups here and we also need to mention what's the data set. And so if you run this you can see. Yeah so we got the box plot here again we can like change the x-axis and like y-axis to make things look more prettier also 
this looks kind of very bland right so maybe maybe let's add some color so actually this color also won't make much sense so I don't know whether you guys have come across but something I really like is the adding jitter so it also gives you how the data is spread along with how the box plot looks so here we just have the outliers right but with jitter you will see how it how it will be so let's see that is this right or am i missing any so i think this is an extra bracket this okay yeah we need to see function here okay i think now it should work yeah so see now we in along with the box plots we can also see how the data is read i really like using the jitter function uh and i think it's very useful so well that's all for now i hope you guys found this video useful if you want to see more of these kind of videos make sure to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to like this video so until next time ciao